Private 5G is capable of supporting the connectivity demands for industrial applications. Roth joins us now. Roth, how is Nokia Mobile Networks enabling enterprises for private with private wireless? Well, thanks a lot for the great question. Actually, Analysis Mason is saying it's a huge opportunity going forward with 5G. So they say it accounts in the future for half of the private network deployments to be over 60% of the network spent by 2028. I think that's a great opportunity for us to provide private 5G in a highly collaborative hybrid network environment to help industries and of course enterprises to transform all of the infrastructure to provide wonderful applications going forward. And it's about Industry 4.0 technologies. You call it sensors to be connected to cars, to be connected in uh, the whole world of collaboration with mobile workers and so forth. So I think that's a great opportunity, thinking of robotics, mixed reality, augmented reality, you name it. Yeah. So everything's possible and you need a proper 5G environment. And with that, um, how are we accelerating 5G private adoption? Right. I think at the end it's all about providing flexible and, uh, and solutions that are bringing the value of 5G infrastructure into play. So we are here actually showcasing what we call AnyRAN for Enterprise Framework. It's part of the unique AnyRAN approach which provides the opportunity to choose among many different core solutions with proven interoperability, Nokia's industry-leading RAN solutions. So of course we are collaborating closely with web scale companies that are present in the edge clouds. So. Uh, you name the ones Microsoft Azure, Google, and of course the Amazons of the world. But we're also doing this for particular industries. And we're concentrating on, for example, transport, um, uh, energy, smart grid. Uh, we think about uh, public safety, so railway. Everything's possible in this context because the moment it creates scale and scope on a national level, this is when you know our mobile network solutions come into play and 5G has the best to show in that context. And I'm actually going to ask you uh, for some examples of yeah. how 5G is helping customers in, say, public safety, power right. utilities, right. Uh, defense. Can you give more? Of course. So uh, it's like I said, a few industries which are making most sense. We talk about defense, we talk about power utilities, public safety and railways, as mentioned. So for the defense sector, you can imagine there are certain mission, mission critical environments where we have to optimize control uh, big time, where um, a lot of security is of course needed. Um, for power utilities, the 5G is actually the optimal solution when it comes to getting the carbon footprint low, to optimize the smart grid as such, and to provide applications for our customers, which will then help to support their own end customers as well. Um, in the railway space, of course, the transport piece, we need further digitalization when it comes to controlling and managing the railways. Uh, today, of course, a lot is uh, still on a pretty old environment. We talk about FRMCS, which will help going forward to provide the perfect management and optimization of railway systems, always on a national level by nature. So we have a lot of great examples where we reduce carbon footprint, optimize, and will be with all over the low latency that we can provide, have an optimization which is possible for really the great you know, challenges that come across. And we provide this to our CSP customers as well as enterprise customers. So everything's possible. We have it all here at the Nokia booth that will be displayed and you can enjoy, of course, having something kind of a tangible experience as well. Thank you, Rolf. Uh, to learn more, visit us at Nokia.com.